Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, well, specifically, it's Warhammer 3 Total War, playing as Kislev, or uh, the Ice Court. Now, last time I said that we were going to do this fight, and I'm pretty sure I even um, got into the battle or uh, attacked them or whatever, but I had uh, stuff to do. Came back later, and this is where the save file was, and, um, <clears throat> well, I was going to attack, and I was going to fight them, and then I... Well, first of all, I looked at the power, the, the balance of power, and it's not great. And then, um, be brutally honest with you, between this episode and the previous one, it's been a week or two weeks or so, I think, week and a half maybe, and I've played a little bit of an Empire campaign in between, um, just to, you know, Keep myself sharp, I suppose, in, in, in some respect, not to forget a lot, a lot about the game, and I wanted to try a different race, etc, etc, in the same mod and everything. And I uh, played as uh, Baltasar Gelt from started down here, and pretty much unified most of the Empire. It was all fun and games until I got to Kislev and started fighting the demons. Uh, now that campaign is about 100 to 90 turns in or so. And um, in my experience, this army is beatable. This one, not so much. I'll explain why. But I'm checking, checking about just five units. Yeah, it's 25 units in total. That's the problem. Um, were these like five units of Chaos Marauders or something, I would fight this and, and not bat an eye. The problem is, I have Armored Cossars, not Zargard. I have Cossars, and the General isn't all that amazing either. Maybe with, with um, Zargard, I could get away with it. The Winged Lancers are terrible um, it, it, to, to fight against this. The main problem is the Pink Horrors of Zinch, right? They have tons of these, and they do an insane amount of damage. And they're also high on veterancy, too. But that's not even a big problem. There is a... <clears throat> I'm sorry. There is a way of sort of getting around that. The big problem is that this army is coming in as reinforcements, and they have three heroes. It's going to sound unbelievable to you, but this army cannot kill four heroes. Yeah. I know. They could... I don't know if I can kill Kairos. He's incredibly tough. Um, this guy, maybe, and, and maybe this guy. Actually, this guy probably definitely, right? These two, and, and this one, and, and this one together, I can't kill. I need to go back to the settlement and fight them from here, where I have a few more soldiers, and um, I also have this army running in as reinforcements. Now, the problem is, it's going to be uh, in attrition for at least under three turns, and so that's not great, but I'm still going to move it up, and I'm going to use it for defense, um, attritioned as it is, and I'm going to move this army up too. The orcs down here, thankfully, have been fairly quiet. Festus, I'm hoping, will get um, into a nice big fight with the Empire and, and stay down there. And the Wargrove of Woe can take out the orcs down here. And I'm happy with having my border on Erengrad um, and just leaving the, the Western Oblast to someone else. Although, you know, I wouldn't like to do that permanently, but for now, I'm happy with it. You see, the biggest problem here is this army cannot deal with heroes. Um, the Kossars, you would think, would be great at killing Zinch heroes. They're not. Uh, they can get through the barrier, and that's about it. Um, the heroes are too small, and they're too mobile. They move around too much for the archers to hit them. And uh, the two heroes will just melt slowly over the course of, like, 20 minutes, but will just melt all of the infantry here. Winged Hussars, like I said, are useless, and these three will just die instantly. Uh, um, they're, they're just not high level enough to, to fight these heroes. So, I'm going to consolidate my forces instead and um yeah we're just gonna sort of take it from there basically i have some unassigned skill points down here i'm gonna get to uh doing that or rather to assigning them and yeah i mean also have you are you uh you're a specialist right yeah i bred you as a as a they bred you a not not in that sense, but I've raised you, let's say. I've trained you from the ground up as a, as a specialist for assassinations and stuff. All right, good. Um, 
think in terms of the Atamans, we're all set. We're all set in terms of the Ice Court. We can just end the turn. The good news is, for me particularly here, is that... Uh, never mind. I was going to say that the relatively good news for me is that the... Um, the AI is deathly afraid of, of the player most of the time. They have anti-player bias, they will go to war with you, but they are very afraid of you at the same time, which is kind of funny. Um, they just don't want to fight you. They see one of your full sack armies and they're like, oh no, run away, and they'll just hide in one of their settlements a lot of the time. Um, so yeah. Okay, what brings you to the defensive alliance? Uh, yes, I think. We are. I was putting it off, but I, I, I think that's not the worst idea in the world. Okay, Wild Hunt begins. Great. Um, that's fine. Ice Court dominates. We've gathered more supporters. A plague among us. Nurgle corruption plus five. We keep getting these plagues, and I genuinely don't know where they're coming from, but... You know what? It's fine. We can deal with a bit of Nurgle corruption. That's not, uh... The worst thing ever. And then you also have mutagenic energies. For five turns. You see, the problem with mutagenic energies isn't so much the mutagenic energies themselves, it's more so the fact that you can't get rid of it, and you can't replenish. And I need to replenish. So, yeah. This fight, though, on the other hand, this one I feel like I can do somewhat alright with. So, let's let's do this battle instead. We need to get rid of both the Zinch, and the Zinch guys, and Scarbrand. And getting rid of both of them would be ideal. Can we do it? Probably not, but, you know. I reckon we can hold the line um, against both. We might not be able to go on the offensive and go after them, which is kind of what we're doing right now, but not go after both of them, but holding the line, I think, will be will be all right. And so let's see. Um, this is this map again. Is there anything else in this area that's not this map? I don't like it. Um, okay. I just had a bad experience with the Empire on it, let's just say. Where, uh, two of my armies got nearly obliterated by one Chaos army, mostly due to heroes, because you can't do any damage to them. Um, well, not literally, but you get the idea. Okay, here I think we just go with our standard tactics. I don't think I need to do anything special. Um, just, yeah, just deploy like this. I think this is fine. Um... Most of their army is Chaos Warriors, which are very tough, but as you can see... Bloodletters, not so much. Chaos Warriors... Oh, these are Bloodletters, let's see. Chaos Warriors of Corn have 110 armor. Okay, it is a lot, but... You have Berserkers over here, you have... Uh, whatever the hell this is. Um, yeah. Not too bad. These are pretty um, big, so they're, they're easier to hit. And it turns out that these guys will just let them... Um, these guys will just stay here and let... Uh, the enemy come to me. Did I really just lose half of this unit in, like, the second that it took these guys to appear? Okay. Um... Why? Yeah, like half the unit's gone. I'm, I'm not quite sure I understand how this exactly has happened, but fine. As you can see, the Kossars aren't taking no damage from it. I mean, then, then that's it. They're just... Oof, they're gone, right? On the other hand, they just wiped out like half my unit somehow. Fascinating. Okay. 
Well, be that as it may, uh, turn these guys around like so. We're going to get flanked over here, so I'm going to send the Patriarch to hold the line. Unfortunately for us, no bears currently in this army. They need a bit more experience before we can get to that level. These guys will come in nicely as reinforcements in a minute. And uh, yeah, actually, you can you can send this army, this unit over as well, and just extend this one to cover that to cover that spot. They don't have any any ranged units, so the longer I can keep them at range, the better. And I'm just there's nothing stopping me from just shooting them all the time while we're fighting. So there we go. <coughs> okay. <coughs> immediately withdraw you because you're at 60 health and I don't want to lose you and then everything else can uh... yeah there we go all right let's slow it down so all of these Kossars target the bloodhounds <laughs> and then all of the Zargard can go in front to try and hold the line and you can just sit in the back because I don't trust you very much and then it's this one, right? There's a patriarch here. Yeah, you can go forwards too. Okay, good. Um, that's that front line sorted. There's a unit arriving over here. Let's fight them, move you back, because I've learned from my previous mistakes, as it were. Um, and now I'm going to start assigning targets of opportunity, as they say, manually. Yeah, okay, good. And then one thing I've also learned in my Empire campaign recently is that it's a very good idea to focus fire. So let's say like this. Of course, it's a it's difficult when you're holding the line because not everyone can shoot at, at every target effectively. So you kinda need to keep that in mind. But other than that, it's a good idea to generally focus fire because uh, it doesn't matter how much damage you do to a unit, all that matters is that you do, uh, is that you eliminate it. So, yeah. Slow these guys down, um, get you to regenerate health. You are about to die. Um, but you did your job, so let's just cast that, and then... Cast... That, I think. And then let's get you out of there. You gotta remember, these guys are shooting as well, even though they're... Uh... Yeah, even though they're still fighting like that. Fairly interesting stuff. Now, you need to go past Scarbrand, which will one-hit you, probably. At around 300 health, yeah, so let's just... I hope that he ignores you, I, I suppose. I don't know. Kind of forgot about these, I'll be honest. Heroes, I mean. Yeah. Grab and your warriors flee. Yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. And then let's just move everyone up like so. And then that ought to do just fine. And you can go and uh, fight them. You can fight them. And of course... Guess which unit isn't holding the line? It's the cavalry. Owl oh, Dragonaut, they're not meant to hold the line, true, but they're also meant to fight, and they're not doing much of that either, so I don't know what to tell you. Is that a hero back there? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, um, the uh, maiden's gone. Uh, I mean, what can you do? On some level, there is nothing you can do. I really, really want to get to the bottom of why this is happening. Maybe it's because of guard mode. But it doesn't make any sense. I ordered him to attack the hounds of the blood hunt. Whatever. Flash hounds. He did one attack, and then he just stops and does nothing. I really want to know why. Because it's been happening all over the place, everywhere. I really want to know why. Maybe I need to turn off guard mode for uh, the melee units, but this isn't what it... 
This isn't what guard mode means. What guard mode's supposed to do is if this unit starts retreating, like if it's broken, then you don't chase it. But the, it's not supposed to work like this if they just move away from the fight ever so slightly to the left. Like, uh, I don't know, man. It's it's at least that's what what it's supposed to be like in my head. Maybe I'm just being weird, and that's how people usually want it. And I'm just you know. Like I said, being weird. Um, I'm not doing any damage to these, like, flesh hounds and, and, and stuff. That's generally fairly concerning. Um, yeah, he's, he's gotten around me. Okay. Not much I can do now. Mm. Let's go over here. There we go. Do I fight Scarbrand in there? Uh, no, probably not, uh... Probably never, really, if, if we're honest about it. And you can also withdraw, because you did your job, basically. Um, well, no, you haven't. You were supposed to hold the line, and you didn't, but hey. So many things were supposed to happen that, that didn't in this battle that it really doesn't matter. Um, good news is, though, that this isn't really something that will happen all that often. I mean, this is Scarbrand's big, bad army, and then once we get rid of it, it's a lot more tame, shall we say. I can't get rid of the Blood Reapers, I can't get rid of any of the heroes, because this army doesn't kill heroes, I mean, it just it just doesn't do that. Um, look at that. I mean, he just did like 2,000 damage from one animation, that is, he is fairly high level, I mean, I, I don't know what to expect. I've played as Scarbrand, I know how difficult it can get to try and stop him. Did we lose another? Yeah, we lose. We lost the Patriarch also. Yeah, that's fine though, we have plenty of those lying around apparently. Even though, like I mentioned, it's supposed to be a relatively unique title. Um, as in there's one per country most of the time. But not here, I suppose. Okay, let's start retreating some of the weaker units. We lost that one too. Well, we had eight and then we just lost them, that's... I don't know. Sometimes it feels a bit weird. Sometimes it feels like units behave like they're demons, as in they just disintegrate, even though they still have HP. Like, they still have entities, but they, they seem to, I don't know, die a bit too quickly, I suppose. I don't know. I'm probably wrong, and it's just a, a subjective feeling of that, but, yeah. Uh, that's, that's his ability, all right. True, true, okay, well, we're holding something of a line, um, at, at least, I, I don't know. Can we maybe shoot Scarbrand with, with, like, everything we have, and maybe that gets rid of him? Because he's kind of busy. That's not even, well, you gotta admit, there's like 20 units shooting at him. 15, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I don't have time to count. Point is, this is an absurd amount of units shooting at him, and it's gonna take us, like, a long while to get rid of him. Which is definitely a problem. Okay, get that health restoration thing up. We're gonna use some... We're gonna lose some, sorry. Cost of those too. This one guy needs to live for the unit to survive. Come on, buddy. You can do... No, you can't. Never mind. No, no, he was out to get you, sorry. He was out to get you specifically, which is always a bit frustrating. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it worked, what can I say? It kind of worked, we killed Scarbrand. See if we can kill those Flesh Eaters. Flesh Hounds, whatever. Maybe something comes of this, um... Yeah, I mean, that, that worked out, I guess. Kind of. 
And then I guess we try and get rid of the Blood Reaper, or is it Blood Letter, or what is it? Blood Reaper, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess, and if I slow him down, maybe that'll make hitting him a bit easier. We're winning the battle, but we're losing the war, that's the problem, because the Zinch Demons are just going to come, and I'm thinking, after all of this fighting, what's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to get um, the Chaos Infestation thing on this army too, and that's all four of my Kislev armies are going to be suffering from Chaos problems for four turns, and I won't be able to record to uh, replenish anything. No, nah, he's banished, so let's just... Uh I love how he's still fighting, even though he's banished. Okay, are we done? Or is there an unbreakable unit somewhere in there? There is indeed an unbreakable unit. A huzzah. Alright, uh, the rest of these are just shattered, right? Yeah. Alright, good. Beric victory. I'll be honest with you, it's not much of a victory. Um, the Frost Maiden did manage to survive somehow. We did lose the Patriarch, that's fine. We've lost one unit of Kossars, easily recruitable again, even though the experience loss is a bit of a pain. Um, and yeah, there you go. I mean, heroes, man, look at that. Also, these guys did a metric not that much, apparently, but no. Heroes, man, it's just, it's just heroes, that's it, nothing else. Um, good news is, Elena's army took no damage, almost. Um, problem there is, however, that uh, that army can't replenish. Twenty minute battle, really? Well, twenty minute. No, we lose. We lost two units of Kossars. Did I not see that? Yeah, okay. Patriarch and two units of Kossars are not terrible. Um, I will take the army replenishment, please. And then, in there, and then... Yeah, there you go. I mean, we recruit them at level 4. It's pretty bloody good, honestly. And then I can get another Patriarch up immediately. He is going to be just level 1. I think if I recruit him in Kislev, it's going to be much higher level. No, it's not. It's just going to be level 1. Oh... Okay, um, fair enough, I suppose. Gospel decision, recruits, or uh, corruption, yeah, corruption. Gospel is pretty much only, only there for public order and growth and money and stuff like that. Um, new plan is we don't invest any money into anything. That's kind of the idea. Um, just invest money into defenses. Well, and, uh, this, obviously. Armor for Kislev, eh, not the best. Gun power units get armor piercing a little bit and a little bit better reload time. Yeah, again. Pretty sure we can do something better. Lost Maiden. Or the church called to prayer. Hero actions for patriarchs. Eh. Let's upgrade the Strelzi, even though we don't have many of them. I think they could be pretty cool, because I've added a mod um, to improve the visuals of gunpowder and smoke units and stuff like that. Gunpowder smoke units, you know what I mean? Like, um... Units that use some derivative or slash fantasy form of gunpowder. Um, so both Strelzi, handgunners, artillery with, um, you know, cannons and rocket artillery and stuff like that. Yeah, all of those. So... Pretty happy about that. Um, tried the mod out, looked awesome. Although not too much, you know. It's not too overpowering, I guess, in a sense. It's just... Just enough. And so I like that quite a bit. Okay. 
Well, um, if that's the case, I mean, I'm going to recruit a... Vanguard one, I think. Nice troops. That's going to be a job, and then we have some of this to deal with. Okay, um, I have firing drills. What else am I going to use? Probably if, to buff the Cossars, right? So this buffs Zargard and Ice Guards. Oh, this buffs both of the Cossars. Right, okay, so then nothing from this line. All right, fair enough. We'll get you, get you HP and turn you into a better fighter. Those are also useful. Mm, just regular spells for you, and that's about it. Okay, took two armies to get rid of one enemy army, eh? And it's not just that that's the problem. We also are not going to be able to re refrain anything for this army, so this one's out of commission for four turns also. However, it's not that bad. It's not like there's a fire that we need to put out immediately, you know what I mean? Like, it's turn 61. It's not turn 100 yet. Like, 40 turns from now, we would be in deep. But... Considering that we're having this crisis now at turn, uh, what is it, 61, this actually isn't that bad. Um, so I'm going to invest most of my money into defenses, and I mean it, of course. Not much else to recruit over here. I suppose I could build up Kislev. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And then, what was this? Um, control leadership speed. Very good. Very good. I like it. <clears throat> I'd also like to see whether... Uh, sorry, not, uh, not this. Quick diplomacy and confederations. So, yeah, we just took a big loss, and so these guys are not exactly going to be super happy with confederations and, and confederation offers. That's okay, though. We have another Rataman decision for um, you all the way up here. Okay. Definitely purge them. And that was Sturren Ridge. Okay. So, I think Fort Straghov is the only way in from up here, I'm pretty sure. And then over here, I won't look at this just yet, even though there's... There's corn, there's corn factions over there, and I don't like that, but hey. Um, Alright, I think that's, that's about it. Let's just assign these skill points that we need to assign. Yeah, you got you got uh, skill points too. That's pretty good. Okay, troop replenishment actually very useful. I used to be of the opinion, um, not that long ago, that troop replenishment isn't that important because yeah, it's like the the bonuses you get from troop replenishment aren't that significant. Since I have learned, um, yeah, it's it's very important. It's like one of the most important things. So yeah, there you go. Okay, steel technology, no, let's go with assassinate on you, and eventually you'll catch up to him. Okay, upgrade available, I'm going to skip out on that, and next turn. It's already been like 30 minutes in the episode, that's pretty gosh darn impressive, considering we had like one big battle and that's about it, but hey. Man, Zidge is, is not messing around, and I do not have a way to fight him right now. That's, I think, the biggest problem is I just don't have a way of fighting this. It's just there, I mean. It, I don't like the mechanic, I'll be brutally honest with you. I despise the mechanic, um, and I wish there was a way to fight against it. But, no, they just throw it at you and, like... So I'm pretty sure next turn, three of my four armies will not be able to replenish. 
Oh, for crying out loud, no. Oh, for crying out loud, that's the last thing I needed, is to get backstabbed by Skaven. What do you think would happen, really? Uh, look, fair enough. Alright, fair enough. I, My own bloody fault, I suppose, in many ways. Another province for you indeed. We have Erengrad. And we have the harbour at Erengrad. Uh, which I think also we get... Yeah, Erengrad gets... For Kislev gets like... A million different things. It's a little Grom, War Sleds... Jesus. Yeah. All, uh, what is this? Yeah, whatever that is, wow. Okay, so, Erengrad is the most economically, uh, important city in the province of Kislev. Gotcha. See if that works. Alright, good. And from here, I could technically go down here and fight them, but I think I want to keep heading north and, like I said, leave Western Oblast for, uh, future campaign of sorts. Yeah. Okay. Down here, give me just a whole heap of ice guards. And I'm gonna have to send this army over here to fight the, um... the Skaven. I mean, what else, right? Can't send them over here to fight demons. Yeesh. Well, okay, at least they've left. Um... Rest and refresh yourselves. Frost Keep you there just to keep an eye out for for them if they, in case they come back. Praise be to the great orthodoxy. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this as um, Catherine, but if it weren't for them, I'd be in deep. But they're sort of distracting the the enemy for now. Okay, Zargard and Ice Guards. That's what you have. So firing drills don't help. It's best of the court, right? Yeah, it's best of the court. And then I like to do this just to get rid of the notification. Make sure I don't. Uh... Ooh, that's gonna be good. Yeah, look at that, fully replenished almost in in just like in just a turn. See, it's important. Let's get you into a, turn you into a slightly better fighter too. <clears throat> Apologize for going silent there, but. I'll be honest, I'm not feeling great <laughs> in terms of the campaign. In terms of personally, yeah, good, everything's going fine. In terms of the campaign, I'm... I don't know what to say. I'm I'm a bit... perturbed at how this is going. Okay, I think a shrine wouldn't be terrible... Maybe a farm. Yeah, let's go with a farm instead and more money. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm just sitting here defending myself. Um Not great, you need to be expanding. That, that's the best way of that's the best self defense, right? Is just expansion. But not really happening for us yet, although we'll see. It's it's not terrible. It's it's not going terribly badly, right? It's it's going all right-ish. I think Cinch is in 
surprisingly enough, kind of a similar problem that I'm in right now, is that I think a lot of his units took attrition from just being around here and fighting the Great Orthodoxy. But now it's going to be a problem. Okay, no defensive alliance with you, thank you. You're going to get, you're going to start fighting those corn demons in the north and probably chaos dwarves and stuff like that. I don't want to get involved with that right now. If I've learned anything from playing this game is that minimizing the number of front lines that you have is paramount to your general well-being, health, and survival. Um, if you have to throw, like, two armies far east, two armies far north, two armies far west, it can get disastrous very quickly. Um, especially on this map, because it's a lot bigger and, and the space between settlements is a lot bigger. And so you end up in some really difficult situations. Quoth the Raven nevermore, really? Uh, I'm just glad that Kislev is, is amazing at dealing with corruption, because anyone else and this would be a problem. Okay, no, let's not assault units, let's instead send you up here to see uh, where our enemies are and what they're doing. Get you moving to and Fort Skehold. I've made a bit of a mistake, but it's fine. Well, it's relatively fine. Yeah, I need to focus more on defenses over there as well. Hero recruitment cost for Patriarch's local province, or hero recruitment rank for Frost Maidens. Honestly, neither of these, but I guess that because we recruit Frost Maidens and Kislev because of the uh, rank and, and all that. But, but I mean, we're not recruiting them anywhere right now, to be fairly honest with you, because of uh, everything that's going on, but you get the point. Okay, maybe it's not a terrible idea to go in camp over here, try and take this place back. Okay, you are finally replenishing once again, so we can put up a fight now, yeah? Two full armies, this one's attritioning, but it'll get there. We're putting up a fight. The only issue I have right now is Skaven. And I would like to address that issue right now. So it's Clan Grittus. I have an aggression pact with them. Thank you. Clan Mulder is is Clan Mulder. They're not really a problem. I still have a non-aggression pact with the with the Skaven. I paid for it dearly, on the price of a full settlement that was. But it's not like I was going to be able to hold it anyway. So okay, okay. I mean, it's it's not ideal, but it's okay. Now, eventually I'll have to get rid of Dreyka too. I mean, she's a birch, as we all know. It's been well established, but... That's it's, it's exactly what I was saying. Like, it's stretching me out left and right. Um, I need to fight the Wargrove of Woe. I need to keep the demons away from Kislev. And I also now need to fight the Skaven on the other end of the map. Um, it's, it's, it's not good. And Skaven, Skaven's... It can be a big problem. Um, really depends on what their army composition is. If they just decide to spam like a ludicrous amount of Skaven slaves and stuff like that, it's really not a big deal. You can just mass route them and it's it's really, a, they're not going to do great. The frozen kingdom welcomes all <laughs> Weapon steams, catapults, stuff like that though, it's significantly more problematic. And Kislev is not a big province, to be honest with you. Like, with the Empire, once you unify all the elected counts, you get a huge province and you get a huge economy going. Um... Kislev is not a huge economy. Even though the units are cheaper and then, you know, it's, it doesn't exactly work the same way the Empire does, because look at that. I mean, eh, well, actually, it's not even much cheaper. Some things are a bit cheaper, let's just say. Even though that's the case, it's still, you know, it's still, yeah. <laughs> if I had to describe it, I would describe it as, yeah. So, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, just two more units of Ice Guards. I think that is going to be all my money gone, but that's fine. I don't want to build up... And I want to build up economic buildings for sure, like this. But it's not the most important thing in the world. Um, Azag is coming. That's fine. Um, I have two little Groms as well. This shouldn't be a problem. Dealing with him, I mean. And we've secured the province of the River Lisk. These guys are getting some more experience, buffing the units and all of that good stuff. All in all, I think we're ready for Azag to come down here and probably like siege Erengrad or something and then we can we can deal with him. Um, I would also like to assault his units because um, between previous episodes and this episode, um, there was an update and assault units now got a lot better. It's, it's now closer to what it was before. So... To be honest with you, pretty exciting stuff. I'm gonna go down here with uh, Tsarina Katarin. Then, I think I just attack, right? Yeah. I'll get rid of another lord. I'll let me occupy this. It'll let me come back into troll counter country. It'll give me more space to play with, too. And it'll put me close to the Urson Revivalists, whom I can correct, confederate, uh, at least eventually, right? Actually, not eventually. I I'm pretty much ready to confederate them right now, if, if that's what they want. It's a full province. Yeah, I'd be willing to confederate them as soon as I get proper control of Troll Country. I keep calling it Troll County for some reason, but it's it's at least in my head, but it, it, no, it's Troll Country. Okay, rest of the money goes to... Uh, 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 uh. Hold up. Yeah, okay. A bit late for that now. Rest of the money goes to... Economy. We're, we're really poor. We need it. What can I say? Or actually, no. The rest of the money is going to get saved up because I want to build a, a landmark building in Edingrad next. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same as before. Let's go magical reserves. Replenish troops. That's what you're there for. Okay, lovely. Good. Turns out, yeah, see, this army I can deal with no problem, even though they have Centigors, which, eh, no, Centigors are not that great. Bestigors, a bit of a bit of a problem. Centigors, so and so. Um, see, this army I can deal with. Not a big problem. Um, the other one, which they may have lost to, like, the Great Orthodoxy or something? I don't know what happened to them. I sort of lost. Sort of lost them, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, no need for that. And in turn. And tell you what, I think this is a good place to end it. It's been a while. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. We'll stay tuned for the rest of the content that I produce on this channel. We'll see how this in turn plays out, and then uh, we'll take things from here. Mainly, I have a lot of agents running around, which is good. I prefer them to be running around than, um, than to be within armies, because like I said, deal with them particularly well. All right. Should you wish to support the channel directly, there are options for uh, channel memberships and my Patreon down in the description below, but by no means feel compelled to do anything. That's it for now. I will see you all next time. Until then, have fun, take care, and bye-bye. No, or not. Hold on. What, war? Yeah. You're very weak, though. That's, uh... It's brave of you to, to declare war on me, but I guess we're getting into sort of the mid to late game where uh, Chaos Forces are going to start banding together against me. Yeah. Alright, that's about it. See you next time. Bye-bye.